Hey there, welcome to Biz Intelligence. In this video, we are gonna do small contribution analysis in Power BI using DAX. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's take a look at pure table that I have created using metrics visual on my report canvas. I have three fields dragged under row section, year, quarter and month. These fields belong to cal calendar table and I have total sale major that I have dragged under value section. So this shows me total sale at year, quarter and month level. Now here we need to do small contribution calculation. That means I want to see how current row value is contributing to its parent node. What does it mean? Let's take an example of January month. Now I want to, when I'm at January month, I want to know how January month is contributing to the total sale of its parent node, which is quarter one. So I will have to take the total sale of January month, which is 1199. And I will have to also take the total sale of quarter one, which is 3404. And I will have to divide these two values to see the contribution percentage. Now, first task for us is to identify the level at which we are doing calculation. So let's go add new measure here and try to identify the level at which we are gonna do the calculation. I will call this measure as contribution percentage. And here I will declare one variable called var v underscore total. Here I will use one if condition to check whether we are at month level or quarter level. So if, and here we are gonna use one function called is in scope. And here we will use month field of calendar table. Now here we have used is in scope function and inside is in scope function we have used month. So this will help us to identify whether we are at month level or quarter level. So if we are at month level, I want to show static text month. If current row does not belong to month, we will have to identify whether that belongs to quarter or not. So again, we will use is in scope function under one new if function, if condition. And here I will use is in scope function and I will use quarter field this time. Now this will tell me whether we are at quarter level or not. If we are, then we will return result QTR. We are using static text just to cross check whether we are getting correct result or not. Now I will close this if function here and I will close this if function here and I will use the return and we will use this variable which will tell us the level of the current row. Now let's go back and drag this measure that we have created. I have added that measure under budget table. Instead of showing this measure under budget table, I want to see it inside measures table. So I will go to measures tool under home table. I will select the table to which I want to move that measure. So I have moved that measure to underscore measures table and I will go and drag this measure under this matrix visual and we will get the result. Now let's take a look at the first row, which is January and it says, we are at month level, which is correct. But when we are at total row, it says we are at quarter level. That is correct because this total row belongs to the quarter of quarter one. Now this shows, okay, this total row belongs to quarter one. We are at quarter level. So this is giving us correct result. Now, what is next task? Once we identify the level at which we are doing calculation, we need to go back to its parent node and take the total of its parent field which is quarter for the month field. Now, when I'm at January row, I will have to remove all the filters from this month field so that I will get the total of quarter one. Let's go and modify this measure to get the total of its parent node. If we are at month level, what we will have to do is we will use calculate function and under calculate, I will use total sale major that I have already created, which is just a sum of sales field. And here I will use all function and I will use month field. Now here using just a month field is not sufficient for me because I have used another field to sort this month field values. When you use another field to sort the values of the current field, uh, mostly for the month name field, and you want to remove filter from that month field, in that case, especially, you will have to include the another field that you have used to sort the values of the month field. And in this case, I have used index field to sort the values of month field and hence I will have to include that field as well. So index field from calendar table, I will use that as well. This means go and remove filter that is applied on month and index field. Now this will give me the total sale for the quarter of that month. Now this is good. Here we will write comma and when we are at quarter level, again, we will have to use same calculate function. I will copy this calculate logic here and I will replace this QTR with calculate logic. Now this time, instead of using month, I will use 
quarter field and I don't need to add any another field here because I, I'm not using any field to sort the result of quarter field. So just using calendar quarter field that is sufficient. Now this will give me the total of uh, quarter when we are at month level and total of year when we are at quarter level. Just to cross check the result, I have used this variable. Let's go and see we are getting correct result or not. Okay, I have now closed this function here and here also I have missed to close calculate function. Let's, yeah, here I need to write comma and hit enter. Let's go back and check whether we are getting correct result or not. Okay, when we are at January month, it is giving me value as 3403, which is a total sale of quarter one, 3404. But when I'm at quarter level, it shows me 18327, which is a total of year 2011. Same way when we are in 2012 year, when we are in January month, we are getting total of quarter one of 2012 year. And when we are at quarter level, we will get the total of year 2012. Now, this is giving us correct result. Now what we need to do is we need to divide this current row value with the total value that we are getting here. So I will go back and again modify that measure. So this is total value that we are getting. Now we will also need to take the value of current row. I will declare one more variable using var v underscore current row. And this time I will use measure that we already have which is total sale. And instead of this v underscore total, this time I will use divide function. To calculate the percent of contributions. Numerator will be v underscore current row which is a total sale of current row and v underscore total that's good. Now let's go back and see the result here. Okay what we need to do is we need to select this major and go back to measures tool and convert it into percentage. Okay now this shows us the contribution percent of this January month to its quarter which is total of January divided by total of quarter one. When we are at quarter level it shows how this quarter one is contributing to the total sale of year 2011. So this is how you can do contribution analysis using DAX functions in Power BI.